friends and enemies. It's me, V. I am right now just sitting in my car because I, I went to go get coffee. My birthday, as you know, was November 3rd. I had been really trying to make sure to watch what I ate. I went and logged everything that I ate and then come to find out, oh, wow, I'm, um, I'm 213.4. So I went back to my original, my original weight of 213.4. I am not ovulating. I'm not, um, I'm not pre-period. I'm not during my period. So I'm taking this win and running with it. <sighs> the thing is this week, this week I was going to exercise. That didn't happen. Um, Sunday. Did I exercise Sunday? I know I didn't exercise Wednesday, which was yesterday. I sure shit didn't exercise on my birthday, though I wanted to. I want to say Monday is when I exercise. Monday. I think I took Sunday off. So, yeah, three days of not exercising. I'm looking outside. I do want to run. Because I still have my 15K that I have to do, which is due by the 8th. That's going to be fun. Um, I kind of was thinking of doing it today, but I don't have food. And, yeah, I don't have food. Um, originally, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to go out and get food from Festival or from Kroger. Because I, I live near Kroger, very close to Kroger. Um, then I was like, wait a minute, if I go to Kroger, that means I come in contact with people and yes, it does help them, but I'm right now thinking I need to help restaurants because my original goal was just go out and eat for this entire week, still exercise, but do a, I'm still going to exercise. I had some Chinese, I had some Chinese, um, oh, I didn't go to Thai a I didn't go to Thai kitchen in Milwaukee. That is what I wanted to do before I left. I kept saying, what am I missing? What am I missing? I'm missing something. I didn't go to Thai kitchen. Thai kitchen is on Oakland in Milwaukee. They have delicious food. I like going during their lunch because they have a lunch combo. Right now they're only doing takeout, but their lunch combo combo is fucking awesome. You get spring rolls. Um whatever type of dish you want with the rice and then you get to choose if you want egg rolls or spring rolls that's why I said the spring rolls are best wait no it's spring rolls my mistake it is spring rolls the food that you want with rice um and then there's a soup I can't remember if there's no a drink is extra but you also get a soup as well in egg. I think it's egg egg soup. Delicious. I like it. Um, the thing I'm trying to remember is what I got. I would always go for something that's chicken. Can't remember what it was, but I had it as chicken. And then they would have, you know, spicy, hot, native Thai. Native Thai is fucking hot as hell. But I would always try to go for native Thai because it was delicious. And I'm sitting here now because originally... When I visited my mom, I said to her, I want to go there before I leave. That didn't happen. That didn't happen because... Oh, fuck. That didn't happen. I wanted to go to Milwaukee. Get myself... Because I was going to get myself two lunch combos. And then that way, with the lunch combos, I would be set for today, Friday, and Saturday. That was my, that was my thought process. Because with Thai Kitchen, for me at least, I was never able to finish it. So I figured, you know, I have some I have some chicken dumplings that my mom get, gave me that she had made. So wake up today, I also had some of um, I had some of the the Chinese food left. I was thinking, okay, or well, this was my thought press thought process at the time. Have some of my Chinese food that's left. Eat that. And then I'll have the Thai, I'll have Thai kitchen because I'll have the soup. You fill up on the soup. Then from the soup, you have the spring rolls. Of course, I'm going to eat the spring rolls first. Then the soup. 
Then I go on to the main course. I don't finish it. What? Guess what? I can save it for another day. I I was going to do that. And instead, I forgot to go. So now I'm like, dang it, where am I going to go? Um, I think I might just go to um, Raising Sons. Rising Sun. Rising Sons. I do like them in Madison. I'm, I think I'll go there. Yeah, I'll just go there. Um, the only other place I was thinking of going to is Seneca. Seneca. S-E-N-C-H-A. Seneca Tea. I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. They got some bubble tea. I did like their bubble tea when I had some. Um, I think I'll get that. I'll walk there and get some. Then I'll go to um, Rising Sun's. Rising Sun, Rising Sun, it's Rising Sun, Rising Sun's Deli, get myself some, get myself some food there, and then with the money left, I'm going to wash my clothes, except that I work Friday and Saturday, so by the time you get this, I'll be at work, okay, which means since I'll be at work, I won't really have that much time to do things. Um, I'm still going to the WW meetings. However, I'm not going to the... I haven't been going to the in-person ones. Let me be honest. I mostly have been going to the ones that are group. And by group, I mean the ones that are virtual. I do know that a lot of virtual meetings have been canceled as people... Are, or rather, the places have been canceled as more and more people go... In and everything um, either go in or they go somewhere else <sighs> I don't know I know they won't count I I know that they actually have one on Saturday and I checked I am pretty sure that my leader my old leader K was was taken away I'm, I'm pretty sure she had been in Weight Watchers since the 80s at least and she had done it for a while. And she gave some really good, helpful advice when it came towards it. And she was the one where I liked going in. But I realized, you know, she's probably she probably was fired or she probably said, screw this and retired. I don't know. I have tried to do the other ones. It just doesn't work for me. Um, the main reason it doesn't work for me is they have changed the times. Why do people keep coming up in the damn thing? Hold on. They keep changing the times. Um, they also, for me, it feels as if they've taken the times and made it very smaller. There is one group that I do go to, so that's, that is fun. I, I did go to Duncan and I did get my, I, I, I did get my, um, coffee. It's hot coffee. It's a large hot coffee. The only thing I had to my hot coffees are swirls, which usually have milk in it. And if you know, I'm lactose intolerant, so it it does get bad. That being said, I'm trying the gingerbread one. And all I can taste is nutmeg. I am not, I, I at first when I taste, at first when I took a sip, I thought, oh, ginger, nutmeg, but all I can taste is just nutmeg. Maybe a little bit of the molasses. I think maybe a little bit of molasses, but mostly I'm hearing, or rather I'm tasting, is nutmeg. Nutmeg is a very potent spice that I think not a lot of people, or rather certain people, they overdo. They don't mean to, but they, but they do, which also got me into watching world america's worst cooks i saw clips of it on youtube that were recommended to me holy crap watching that was just the girl boiled she boiled chicken and she kept stabbing it and the chef said to her why are you stabbing it then this guy he took a ton of wine poured it in the skillet this this one girl how the hell let me finish. Let me finish with the guy before I jump ahead with the, with the young girl. The guy, he 
had some wine in the skillet instead of cooking it to reduce it he didn't know to do that so when <laughs> as a result the chef said to him like all I can smell is something that smells like you spilled wine did you at least let it reduce and he was like I'm supposed to do that and he's like it's supposed to be jo uh, a Julia Child inspired and all I could think about was kiss which is keep it simple stupid I don't understand people's needs for doing the most outrageous things. Sometimes the most simple and concise things will win people over, especially if you make your point known and you do it simple and short. Who knows though? I will say that the weight of my heart, that this, this coffee, my everything bagels, one that was super hot and everything was hot in the middle so it almost burnt my tongue then the one that was right next to it that was so cold I went how the fuck y'all get that and that's the thing I it reminded me of pizza rolls tostino tostino uh, pizza rolls where it's either hot where it burns the roof of your mouth or it's so cold you go what the hell was that I thought it, I my eyes where you thought one thing and then you realize, oh, that's actually nothing. I shouldn't worry about it. I also got a Beyond Sausage Burger. I do like these. I usually eat them hot. I did check my refrigerator and my freezer again just to make sure that I did not have food. And I do have a pizza. I still have the dumplings that my mother gave me. So once the dumplings have unthawed, because they're not... They haven't unthawed yet. Once they are unthawed, I will have my lunch or slash dinner probably. After I have this, I think I'll probably be good, be good for a couple, more than a couple hours. I will have the dumplings and then I will probably have the pizza. If I don't have the pizza, I'll put the pizza on for tomorrow. The thing is the pizza is 890 calories, which means... Probably should eat the pizza so I at least get to a thousand plus on calories. This right here is 310 calories because I got it with a swirl. And also I've been using Lose It a lot and that's been helping. I still have not done the points as much just because the points depress the fuck out of me. And doing the points and this as hard as it is whereas with Lose It I just scan it. Everything's good. But I really should start doing the points. After all, I'm paying for the system. Why am I not using it? There we go. This is probably going to be something like, look what's happening throughout the entire week. Oh.